Hello YouTube, Elmas here and I have for you guys today um, something a little bit different something that I've actually been wanting to do for a while and that uh, some of you guys have actually uh, requested me to start doing or have given me the idea to start doing this so of course if you are excited for this new quote unquote series make sure to show off your support for it and hit the like button down below and let me know how I could possibly improve this for you guys now basically uh, as the title says this is gonna be like a team building thing now keep in mind I myself uh, I'm not the greatest battler around I under I know what I'm doing I understand t all the tiers just about pretty well to the point where I can make a pretty decent team and do well with it on the ladder depending on however you think the ladder skilled or you get what I mean um, there is one factor though that I always like to take into consideration when I make teams. I like to make teams um, more fun for myself. Like I don't like to make them standard .jpg and use the top of the top of the best of the best and all that shenanigans. That's kind of what this series is going to be. It's me uh, showing off how I make my teams. And then what I also want to kind of throw in there is maybe get two or three Wi-Fi battles with the team to not only show off how I make the team but also show off the team in action. And I did get the idea to kind of do this for my buddy Shady Penguin because I think uh, I, I don't think he does this anymore or I haven't really seen him doing much but I know he used to do this a lot uh, a few weeks ago but that's kind of what I want to start doing I want to uh, go through me building a team uh, get two or three battles with it upload the team building process and then two or three Wi-Fi battles with the team showing it off and how it works um, it's not the reason why I want to upload the video first before I well, the reason why I want to get the battles before I show off the team is because I don't want you guys to counter team me. I know that a lot of you may not do that, but it's just the fact that if you know what team I'm using, you know my sets, you can easily find the video and then kind of make your plays accordingly. So, yeah, that's kind of why I want to get two or three battles, then upload the team building process, and then just go from there. So, yeah, that's, that's really, I guess that's kind of a quick introduction to it. Um, as I said, if there's any way I could possibly make this better for you guys, by all means, leave comments down below and let me know. Let me know if you're excited for the series or not, because I personally, myself, am. I've really been wanting to do a team building series for a while now. It's just I didn't really know how to uh, incorporate it into, like, my showdown lives or my Wi-Fi battles. I had this idea, though, for a while. Like I said, I got it from Shady Penguin, and I had the idea for a while to use it, and ultimately, I was like... Yeah, it's not that big of a deal for me. So that's just like like what what I want to do is upload a team building video, get two or three Wi-Fi battles, and after those two, it's most likely just going to be two because I think two is a good stopping point to show you guys how the team works. Um, I guess what I could do is do like a best two out of three series if you guys would like that. And yeah, so after those two or three battles, upload another team building video on the different team that I'm going to be doing. Uh, for those of you who don't know, for some reason, uh, I play every tier. If you count Little Cup as a tier, I don't play that because I don't like or care for little cup to be perfectly honest with you but yeah although ubers ubers i don't make my own teams for ubers so i'm probably not gonna be showing off for ubers <laughs> and just yeah anyways uh one key thing for when it comes to me making teams i always check the small gun forms i am i want to say i'm very active on the small gun forms uh, by like leaving comments or like leaving suggestions and stuff But I do like to go through like the cores of each tier just to kind of get an idea of like what to use and like what to build around For example, this core right here of Mega Manetric, Bisharp, and Keldeo Three Pokemon that I really 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 like uh, Two of which I never really use in the form of Bisharp and Manetric And then uh, Specs Keldeo which <laughs> if you guys uh, sub to me early on uh, when I first started uploading Then you will know that I absolutely love Specs Keldeo this thing hits like an utter truck and it's just, it's amazing. It really is. If it wasn't for its great speed, I would easily run modest on this because 391, you cannot go wrong with that. But 346 is a very good speed tier to be in. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be building this team around um, between Manetric, Bisharp, and Keldeo. Uh, one main thing that I read right here was that a Rapid Spinner slash Defogger or a Volt Turner um, not a Volturner, but a U-Turner is very good for this core. <clears throat> Plus, Stealth Rocks are also very necessary because Mega Manetric uh, really likes to have spikes and rocks up to ensure certain KOs or uh, two KOs. And personally, I like Flamethrower over Overheat because I really don't want to be at minus two and potentially allow my opponent to uh, get up a free turn to set up on me and potentially sweep me. So I decided just to go with Flamethrower because it still hits Ferrothorn pretty hard. I think it may even knock it out. 
And actually, we have a damage calc here. Oh, that video's already gone live. So, yeah, you guys cannot see this. Actually, hold on. I know how you guys will be able to see this. Let's type in Mega Manetric. Let's look up Ferrothorn. OU Utility. Uh, Overheat Oko's it, but Flamethrower... Yeah, see, look, Flamethrower still does a really significant chunk of damage to it. So, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with the uh, damage that Flamethrower does. So, then we have just standard Bisharp. Uh, I'm still torn between Pursuit or Swords Dance. I'm not really too sure. I mean, I know Pursuit is great for uh, the Lotties. And I don't exactly want to fit a Tyranitar on this team. Although, what I'm thinking is if I do fit Tyranitar, I guess I could fit an Excadrill at that point. Then that way I have a Rapid Spinner, I have a Stealth Rocker, and I have a way of being able to um, get rid of the Lotties, which Keldeo and Manetric both don't exactly like to take on. Although Swords Ants can come in handy. Honestly, from what I see from Bisharps, I never really see them get a free chance to Swords Dance. So I think, honestly, Pursuit would probably be better in this scenario. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. See, see, this is this is a type of problem I have when I when it comes to team building. What I could do, what I could do, is I'm gonna keep this blank. I'm gonna keep this blank, and then I'm gonna come back to it. So the Keldeo set is perfectly fine, set in stone. I have really nothing to change here. I already chose Manetric. We're fine with Keldeo. Uh, as I said, I could go Tyranitar and Excadrill, but uh, the first thing that came to mind was Landorus, cause I've been wanting to try a bit more of an offensive variant of Landorus. Because I've seen that um, Earthplate Landers hits extremely, extremely hard. So that's kind of what I want to use. I want to use Offensive Earthplate. Um, at the same time, though, I do want to be able to have at least a Scarfer on my team. That's the only drawback to this. It really is. Because like this gives me a solid uh, ground immunity. Gives me a solid uh, check to certain mons. Uh, I can check Charizard. I can check um, Heatran. Well, I can. I don't know. I guess you could call Counter, which everyone you want to prefer to. A uh, low punish shouldn't be a problem. Oh, well, not that big of a problem, I should say. Um, Terrakion, not using OU anyway, so I don't have to worry about that. Tyranitar shouldn't be an issue to this set either. Uh, I can kind of check Azumarill. Actually, I don't have a switch into Azumarill now that I look at this team. So I need something that can switch into Azumarill. Uh, I could go Ferrothorn, actually. Ferrothorn will also give me a uh, choice. Not choice spike. I was going to say choice spikes. That is not an item. <laughs> or a move. Uh, I could throw in Ferrothorn. That'll give me spikes. And it will give me stealth rocks with Ferrothorn. I mean with Landers. At this point, the only thing I ha I'm going to be concerned about is having a way of getting rid of my own has Not my own hazards. Of getting rid of my... What hazards on my field? Um, I guess we can kind of put Ferrothorn here for a placement holder. We can put it there for a placement holder. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is Excadrill, but I really don't want to have Scarfed Excadrill. I really feel that that's not that... Honestly, I'm not a fan of Scarfed Excadrill. I think it's kind of a bad set to be perfectly honest with you guys. That's just my opinion. And there's honestly not many Rapid Spinners in... Uh, oh, you. Um, another that came to mind was Dawn Fan, but Dawn Fan really isn't that great of a Pokemon. Not even a Yu Yu is it all that good. Um, I could definitely throw in a Latios. I think a Latios would actually fit very well. Plus, it'll give me a Healing Wish Pokemon. Uh, the only drawback to that, of course, is that if I defog as I have my hazards up on the field, then my opponent can get rid of them. No, no, no. Why? Why am I saying these? Okay, I need water. I, f I find that when I stutter a lot or mess up my words, it's because I'm thirsty, so sorry. It's a nice H2. As I was saying, what I meant to say was that the only drawback of, of having a defogger is that if I have spikes and rocks up on my opponent's field, then I'll be forced to get rid of both of my hazards. Plus, it also means that I don't have a Scarfer on my team. Um, what I could do is put Scarf Latios, maybe? Scarf Latios, I think, would actually... Actually, yeah, I think Scarf Latios would really come in handy. Because I have a solid special attacker. 
Well, I have another solid special attacker. I have something that can kind of tank hits from Keldeo, although I do have Ferrothorn. Sacred Sword still does hurt. Um, I can also have Trick on it to cripple certain walls like uh, Clefable that want to set up. Although Bisharp should be able to beat Clefable one on one. Um, I can cripple walls with Scarf Latios. Yeah, I think Scarf Latios actually really helps me out here. Yeah. I think Scarf Latios is definitely the best fit in this last slot. So we're gonna go Draco, Psy Shock, uh, Defog, and Trit, I think. Um, I could put Surf, but I mean, I have Keldeo to kind of deal with Heatran, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, Ferrothorn right now, I, I really do want Ferrothorn on the team, it's just that I'm kind of iffy on it. But Spikes are just so, so handy. They really, really are. They really, really are so handy. Um, actually, <laughs> Spike's offensive Diggersby would be kind of cool, but Diggersby main niche is just being able to hit extremely hard when uh, it's necessary to do so. Um, what's, a, what's, a, what's a big problem to this team? Uh, I mean, not having leftovers on Landers could actually really hurt me. So I think I'd rather just go lefties on Landers. Yeah, and I could go with more of a defensive... Kind of mixed variant, I suppose. Uh, this speed allows me to outspeed Bisharp, as you can see here. 252. Uh, although most of the time they do just kind of go for the Sucker Punch anyways. So I think I could drop the speed to around 243, because I think that outspeeds... Uh, Br no, no, okay, no. I was going to say that outspeeds Brulum. I know 243 outspeeds something. And I'm trying to remember. Honestly, Brulum is not very common at all in the OU tier, though. So, I'm not too concerned about that. Plus, I can keep it in check with Latios, uh, Manetric Flamethrower, and Keldeo's HP Flying. Um, is it Adamant, Bisharp, that it outspeeds? I, I know 242 outspeeds something. Oh, well, 240 outspeeds that. Uh, what is 242 outspeed? It outspeeds something. I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, I tried looking it up. Um, I think I'm just losing my mind, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going crazy. I don't know. I could have sworn that 243 outsped something. Uh, my apologies on that. My fault. So, I, like, I'm stuck between... Uh, I want this to be... I want this to be just the, the original set that I had, but... Um, Ferrothorn can't do much to Bisharp. Although, honestly, Keldeo does keep Bisharp in check. It's just, the problem is that if, if it gets severely weakened, then it could knock me out. Um, Trick could also kind of cripple it, I suppose, but, uh, and then the tumble, the, the tumble, the double Intimidate core does make Bisharp a bit more of an issue. Um, I could go Gliscor maybe, but I feel that Gliscor is more of a Swords and Stallbreaker set than the set that I need Landers to be. Plus, Double Intimidate still does come in very, very handy. I mean, as long as I play Bisharp well, I mean, as long as I play Landers well, Bisharp shouldn't be an issue. So yeah, I, I'm going to keep Landers, it's just that I don't... I don't really feel that this set is the best for this team. As much as I would love to keep the set, I'm going to have to change it up. Yeah, I'm going to have to change it up. Um, I'm probably just going to make it more of a defensive variant. Just so I can take hits a lot better and be able to still have a solid pivot or a solid switch into uh, whatever he decides or whatever my opponent decides. That is a physical attacker that I can deal with. Well, you get what I'm trying to say. It's still going to be a good defensive wall and a defensive backbone. Plus, I still have a Volturn combo, and I can still gain momentum, take hits, and then get up hazards and just go from there. All right. Uh, sorry about that, guys. So, uh, I'm going to be running a bit of speed creep, and then I think the rest should be fine in HP. Uh, obviously, we do want an even HP number, although when it comes to level 50... As you can see here, oh, okay, it's still even. If it was, because sometimes 
Um, max HP is still going to be odd even at level 50, the same as level 100. Sometimes it uh, becomes even as as right here. So yeah, if uh, it's still going to be 248 for level 50 on Wi-Fi. So we're fine there. Um, the last four can just go on defense. So yeah, we have a solid uh, defensive core here, I would say. We're going to go leftovers because I found that Magnazone still is not all that common. Although if I do run into too many Magnazones, then I will switch it up no problem. Actually, I could maybe even run Thunder Wave on this set. I've actually been experimenting with Thunder Wave of Ferrothorn. And personally, I always find that Gyro Ball is not as handy as Power Whip for some reason. I've always been in many scenarios where Power Whip has helped me constantly more than the normal set where Gyro Ball would actually help me out. And we're going to go with a bit more especially defensive spread, I want to say. We're going to go careful here because there's no real reason for us to go sassy because we don't have Gyro Ball. So yeah, we have Spikes, Protect, Leech Seed, just a regular Fer Ferrothorn set with a Power Whip over Gyro Ball. I would like to put Thunder Wave over Protect, but having Protect for that extra bit of leftovers and Leech Seed recovery does, very, very, does come in very, very handy. Um, Latios, as we said, is going to be a Choice Scarf variant. And I think, I think we are good. Oh, Bisharp. Ah, um. The Lot Lotties do seem to be a bit of an issue to this, to this team. So yeah, we're going to go Pursuit. We're going to go Pursuit, Bisharp. So yeah, there we go. Uh, this is the team, the Backbone, or the... The core of Bisharp, Manetric, and Keldeo. Then we have Landorus as a ground immunity, a solid ground type, a solid defensive wall, a U-Turner and Stealth Rocker, plus it is a check to a Talonflame. Then we have a specially defensive Ferrothorn with Spikes, because Spikes really do help Manetric. They also really help Bisharp and Keldeo, seeing as all three of these mods already hit extremely, extremely hard. They absolutely love spikes and rocks so that's very good and then finally off we have a solid scarfer in the form of latios i kind of want to go modest actually because 319 is still a pretty good speed stat it's just that if i do trick array do trick array do trick away my scarf i still want to have the the great speed of timid latios and then we have dual stab defog to get rid of hazards if absolutely necessary and then trick to a cripple walls like Calm Mind, uh, Clefable, um, Chansey for whatever reason, if it becomes a problem, uh, Gliscor if it becomes a problem, um, what else, what else, what else, Mew I suppose, uh, Sylveon potentially, and just, yeah, you guys get what I'm trying to say here. So yeah guys, that is the team, so hopefully you did enjoy uh, seeing how I make my teams, I apologize for the bit of stuttering. And I'm uh, mixing up my words. But if you guys did enjoy this series and you would like it to continue, if you have any ways that I could improve it, not only show off your support by leaving a like, but leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the team. Uh, if you want to use it, by all means. Actually, if you guys want, I could even leave a paste bin of the team in the description. So you guys could uh, try it out yourselves, recommend some changes that I could possibly do to it. And just, yeah, so with that being said, thank you all for watching. I will see you with a Wi-Fi battle, with a Wi-Fi battle with this team uh, the day after next. So yeah, with that being said, uh, later everybody.